Hey what's up guys and welcome to this week's Team of the Week predictions. Now first of all, apologies that this is out a bit later than usual. Last night my internet just absolutely went kaput, I couldn't get online so I couldn't get my predictions out for this morning. This week's Team of the Week is Team of the Week number 10 and it's an international week. Yay! I don't really like international weeks, it's quite hard to predict the Team of the Week because some games are friendlies, some games are qualifiers, etc, etc, and sometimes EA don't include friendlies, sometimes they do, it's just all quite frustrating. So because of that, I may not get a good score in this week's Team of the Week predictions as I have included quite a few players from the international friendlies. Now, as I said before, sometimes in the international breaks EA do include friendlies, sometimes they don't. But I feel, looking at previous Team of the Weeks this year, that they will want to keep smashing out the really good Team of the Weeks to sell packs. So let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below. Anyway, I have rambled on for far too long right now. Let's get into the potential informs. These are the players who I think could get informed this week, but haven't quite made it into my Team of the Week predictions. We start off with KDB, Kevin De Bruyne, who got a goal and an assist in a 3-1 win for Belgium. Olivier Giroud got a goal in France's 2-0 win versus Germany. I actually could see maybe Matuidi getting informed this week. We'll obviously have to wait and see. And then we've got Sivok on the end who got a goal in a 4-1 win. And then we come on to page number two of the potential informs and I think this will cause a bit of discussion in the comments section. Now in my opinion every single player on this page deserves to get an inform in this week's team of the week. However each of these players played in an under 21s fixture and to my knowledge EA have never picked informs from under 21s matches. Maybe that will change this week, who knows, but I'm going off the past Team of the Weeks and I have decided not to include any of these youngsters. Right then guys, here we go with my prediction. We start off with Payatov of Shakhtar Donetsk and of course representing Ukraine internationally. He got himself a clean sheet and a 2-0 win for his international side. Next up is a BPL Silver which would be an awesome card if it does indeed happen. We've got Christian Gamboa who got a goal in a 1-0 win for Costa Rica over Haiti. Next up is another BPL Silver and once again a very nice looking Silver card. It is Yoshida who got a goal in a 3-0 win for Japan. Jan Vertonghen is up next. Yes, once again another, that's right, another BPL player. He got a goal in a 3-1 win for Belgium versus Italy. Finally, we come away from BPL players as we move on to Mario. Now, if you watch the England-Spain game, you will know this guy scored an absolutely incredible um, acrobatic goal and it was awesome and obviously he did contribute to Spain's 2-0 win over England and that is why I'm predicting him to potentially get an inform in this week's Team of the Week. Corona of Porto and Mexico is up next. Now I really hope this card happens because normally in FIFA this guy is a right winger so to have his position change card would be pretty awesome. Also he's got 4 star skills and 5 star weak foot so this could be a potentially awesome card. Hopefully he gets the inform. He got 2 assists in a 3-0 win for his side Mexico. Shirakov is up next. Now this is one that I'm a bit unsure about but who knows it could happen. He got himself a goal in a 1-0 win for Russia over Portugal and I believe he scored in like the 89th minute so it was a very late winner and um, who knows maybe we'll see him in this week's team of the week. Adaturan of Turkey. This guy got a goal and an assist in a 2-0 win for his side versus Qatar so uh, yeah could be a decent card. Not the best pace for a winger but his dribbling and passing are absolutely outstanding. And here we go guys with a hero card. Pretty much these have become a regular thing now. So nearly every week I have one in my Team of the Week predictions. I actually think there could be more than one this week. So do look out for that. Anyway, Jonathan Waters scored twice in a 3-1 aggregate win against Bosnia. And um, yeah, because of that, Ireland are going to qualify for the Euro. So that's pretty awesome. And because of that, I think he could potentially get a hero card. And now moving on to this man, Mr. Robin. This guy got two goals in a 3-2 win for the Netherlands over Wales. Hopefully this card does indeed happen because it will definitely be one of the best players in this week's Team of the Week and the position change is pretty awesome as well. And the final player in my starting 11 is Yannick Bolassi who got two goals and an assist over two games for his side Congo and um, hopefully this inform happens because last year in FIFA 15 his inform was awesome so hopefully this inform in FIFA 16 is incredible too. So guys, that is my starting 11. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Let's get on to the bench and reserves. Here we are on the bench then and we start off with a goalkeeper called Abang. This guy made a few penalty shootout saves which helped his team go through. So that's pretty awesome. Next up we have Omari. This guy got a goal in a 7-0 win for his side which is pretty crazy. And this actually looks like a decent silver card in my opinion. Next up is Roy Benavaccia. This guy got two goals in a 4-2 win for his side, the Wellington Phoenix against Adelaide United. 
and uh, once again, not a bad looking silver card at all. Fair enough, his stats aren't too stand out, but they're fairly well rounded and looks like a good centre mid silver card to me. Forsberg is up next, he helped his side get a 2-1 win against Denmark. Alexander Trukowski got himself a hat-trick in a 4-1 win over Montenegro, so he should be getting the inform, we'll have to wait and see obviously, but uh, three goals in this week's Team of the Week should be enough to see this guy get an inform. Josie Altidore got two goals and an assist in a 6-1 win, so we should be seeing him in this week's Team of the Week. Quite a good looking silver card if you ask me, not the best pace, but should have good shooting and good physical attributes. Makulu got two goals and an assist in a 3-1 win. Avono kept a clean sheet in a 1-0 win for his side. Stefan Mbia got a goal and kept a clean sheet in a 3-0 win for his side Cameroon. Jacob Murphy scored twice in a 3-1 win against Colchester. They were 1-0 down, but they came back to win 3-1, so this guy could get the inform for an impressive performance leading to their comeback. We've got Guillermo who got two goals in a 3-0 win for his side. And then finally, we've got Melchiori who got three goals in a 3-0 win, which is um, yeah pretty crazy. And this silver card, once again, what an awesome looking card that is. 86 pace, decent shooting and good dribbling. Should be a pretty good silver card if it does indeed happen. So guys, those are my Team of the Week predictions. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think EA will include international friendlies in this week's Team of the Week? And also, do you think there'll be more than one hero card? Because personally, I do. Anyway, it's time to end this video now. So if you have enjoyed, please remember to leave a like on the video. That would be very much appreciated. Have a good day, guys. Adios.